Hello, here we are aboard SV Elizabeth, and we are in St. Pierre, and we are spending a few days here checking out the French culture. It's pretty cool, enjoying the food, etc. Well, one of the things we have to think about while we're making these movies is how much power do we have? We don't have unlimited power like you do in your house. We've got the wind generator and the solar panels that make our power. And we've got lots of things that consume it. Like computers, hard drives, boat electronics, lights, charging phones. What else we charge? Everything we have to charge and run. Hey guys, the computer has like 25% left. Can I plug it in? Is there enough power? Yeah, it's okay. I'm not great. I'm about 75% on the batteries. Maybe I'll plug it in for a few minutes, like 30 minutes. And we sh unplug it. Yeah, we should be good. We can definitely plug it in for a bit. And the other thing is we got decent wind, so I am making some power. Like Benji was saying, we don't have unlimited supply of electricity. We have to generate our own electricity. And one of the ways we do that is we have a wind generator, a big wind a small wind turbine that spins when it's windy out and creates, takes that um, energy from the wind and makes it into electricity. And then the other thing that we have is solar panels. It takes the energy from the sun and it changes it into electricity. So they're both great ways to produce electricity, very clean, very good for the environment. Think about where your power comes from. If you're in the Midwest, it probably comes from coal-based power plant or maybe a natural gas power plant. We have some renewable, power, renewable energy sources that run power plants in the United States like uh, hydroelectric, but there aren't that many yet. Um, so why don't we have more renewable energy sources? Why, why don't we use these unlimited sources of power like wind and solar? What are, what are the drawbacks? Why, why isn't it happening more often? Um, because if you think about it, it seems very sensible to be using something that's always available. Some of the things that you might have at home that require electricity, that we can't bring aboard because we don't create enough electricity for them. For example, a hair dryer takes a lot of electricity. Um, we don't have very many kitchen appliances. In fact, we don't really have any at all. Definitely not a microwave. A stereo, we don't have a stereo. Uh, we don't have a freezer, so we can't have ice cream. <laughs> all right. I'm going to ask the, everybody aboard, if they could bring one more thing aboard that requires electricity, what would they bring? And I'm going to ask you guys the same thing. If you were going on a boat, what would you want to bring or what would you miss the most that requires electricity? You know, maybe a hair dryer just because wet hair when it's 40 degrees or 50 degrees, just miserable. Um, or wet socks. Or wet socks. Oh my gosh. A uh, kick in stereo, I think, on board would be really nice. I do like to jam out to the tune sometimes. A lot of bass. Dory, what would you bring aboard? I would probably bring a food dehydrator because I like to make tasty treats in the food dehydrator. So all our power is stored in batteries, just like in your car, except they're much bigger. So that's a 12 volt system, that's a DC system. And to run our computers and whatnot, obviously we need AC, alternating current, 110 volts. So we have this thing called a inverter, which converts the 12 volt DC to the 110 AC. The solar panels and the wind generator both charge the batteries. Um, I have three batteries, and we monitor those batteries very closely. We have a couple of different gauges we use to check their voltage. What if you had to ration your power? What if you only had so much power per day? What would you spend your power on? Would it be the hair dryer? Would it be the air conditioning? Would it be your computer? Would it be charging your cell phone? Um, maybe you have to sacrifice some things. And that's kind of how it is on this boat. Like sometimes we, we don't have enough power and we have to sort of figure out what, what is most important. So, Hey guys, there's not much wind or sun today, so um, I don't think you can plug those in. The amount of power we can use is really dependent on the weather. If it's a really sunny day or a really windy day, then we're generating a lot of electricity. My iPod's almost dead. Hey, can I can I plug in my iPod? Is there? Yeah. Wait. Oh yeah. Again. Oh wow, we're making a lot of power right now. Go ahead and plug in the things that need charging. And on this trip, it's been extremely windy, so the wind generator has been our main producer of power lately because it's been 
foggy and cloudy and rainy most of the trip. So we don't have any sun. But very windy. But lots of wind. So thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you enjoyed that and we, we look forward to hearing your thoughts on that topic. Absolutely. I want you guys to think about it. Something near and dear to our hearts. <laughs> and Dizzy's too. <laughs> okay, so long from Elizabeth this time. See you next time!